Hey guys, what's going on, baby? Express 2, coming at you, back from the industry summit. My, oh my, what a mess I have behind me. I am just starting to get everything packaged up and shipped from the breaks from um, Monday and Tuesday. It was back to back, Monday and Tuesday. Um, just getting... Uh, back, getting everything sorted out. I want to do a recap of the case of 2013 National Treasures football that we broke on Tuesday night. Uh, very, very impressed. It was actually kind of fun going through all the stuff. Um, again, uh, before I'm getting it prepared for shipping, and we did hit some very, very nice cards. I'm really excited about this 13 National Treasures football. Uh, we were promised at the summit that it is packed up and loaded and ready to go um, in terms of, you know, more vet content in it. I can tell you right now from what you're normally supposed to get, jerseys, autos, etc. We, uh, we did pretty well in terms of numbers. So I think we got more autos than we were supposed to, uh, which is somewhat common with NT, but uh, fun stuff. And this also will then turn into our official sign-up video. Uh, so our official sign-up video for 2013 National Treasures. But the first thing we're going to start with is a major big thank you to everybody that pre-filled breaks for Monday night. Did a case of Finest Football, a case of Limited Football, a case of Ultimate Football. Appreciate it very much, everybody, for getting those breaks filled up. It was a lot of fun on Monday night getting to do those. And then ultimately, on extremely short notice, it filled up in like less than five minutes, the case of 2013 NT football. Thank you to all of you guys that were willing to uh, get ready and do a preview video on short or preview break on very short notice. So appreciate everybody. Um, for those people that were in the breaks on Monday night, uh, prizes will be given away, as promised, on Friday night. I am going to go live this Friday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, back to our normal day. Uh, we will take it easy this week because the following week we are going to hit it heavy. And when I say hit it heavy, it's going to be two nights of NT football. So this week we'll probably do a little bit of contenders, something kind of cheap, lots of autos. I think an extremely undervalued product, and I think people will uh, see the benefits of breaking that at uh, probably middle of the season next year. I'm just doing a <laughs> little BB's used to the old Breakers TV, so he thinks he has to army crawl. Um, but in any event, uh, oh, I lost train of thought. You made me laugh, bud. All right, so anyways, I want to show off some of the stuff, guys, that we're going to give away. Uh, for everybody that uh, joined breaks on Monday night. So, kind of a cool thing. A lot of people really excited about these shirts, guys. They were super cool. Panini, big shout out. Uh, appreciate hooking everybody that, uh, not everybody, but helping people uh, get a little access to these shirts that were not able to attend the summit. Uh, a couple of shirts. We'll be giving away those. To guys that joined the breaks. This was pretty cool, actually. Anybody that's a prospector, check that bad boy out. Nice little new era Bowman hat. I even left the sticker on there if you want to go straight gangster. Um, it is a snapback, but it's a new era, beautiful Bowman hat. We'll make sure we get that given away. Uh, a box of Panini Black. Compliments, obviously, of Panini. A box of Crown Royale. Compliments of Panini. And last but not least, as promised, the black box. 2014 Panini black box. Sealed, ready to be given away. By far, the grand prize to be given away. The brakes were cheap, guys. It was uh, finest football for like 57 bucks. Limited for 71 Ultimate for like 90 um, That's pretty damn cheap for a chance at a box that people were, I don't know the right word, but they were going crazy up to $300 being paid 
for these black boxes right at the summit. So somebody Friday night is going to get that simply by joining a break, probably hit some nice cards, and walk away the black box. So thanks again, everybody, for filling those breaks up. All right, on to our recap. I'm sure all of you guys have been waiting. I apologize if you had to sit and wait for five minutes, but I really want to thank everybody uh, in my room. So here we go, NT football. Um, first off, uh, the shop and I uh, joined some breaks. This is the shop's card. It is not my card. Unfortunately, I didn't get the split team of the Ravens and the Bears because that bad boy came out right there. The one of one, Jamal Lewis Nike swoosh. So pretty damn sick. One of one. Definitely not the card you're envisioning walking away with with the uh, mixed team of the Ravens and the Bears. And I got pretty much nothing. However, I did draw the Bills one break, which was cool, but uh, no luck. So on to box. I don't even remember if this is one, two, three, four, but I'm going to do the boxes. There were four, obviously. It was a sealed case. Um, some of the base cards, guys. Legend, Larry Zonka, Mr. Anquan Bolden. Uh, do, 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 do. This is a quad, a few jersey pieces, and a ball of Quentin Patton. This is a sick card. Probably will do very well out of the gates to 99 quad jerseys of Richard Sherman, Brandon Browner, Earl Thomas, and Mr. Sam Chancellor. Or I'm sorry, Sam. Cam Chancellor. This little auto here is Spencer Ware. Big old jumbo Pro Bowl colossal patch of Chris Myers for the Texans. 25. This is this one kind of caught me off guard, but I think I know what they're kind of doing. Some of the guys that uh, were maybe not photo shoot players uh, sat with standalone sticker autos all year. Never a relic piece. They're inserting some like Zach Stacy, I believe, is one. Uh, but right here we got Kayvon Webster to 99 first relic auto. It's a nice little patch jersey to 25 auto of Stephen Taylor. Uh, this is a nice card to 99 dual jerseys, NFL gear, Mike Glennon. Now we did hit a redemption in this one, Jumbo Colossal uh, number auto of Mr. Dwayne Bow. So keep track of the Chiefs. The next one we uh, move on to is, I believe, we're, Brendan, where were those mags? Go grab those for me, please. Uh, Josh Evans. Uh, Fred Jackson. Talk about these two. Yeah. Uh, Doug Martin, jumbo colossal jersey, nice three color with dirt. With dirt to 25. Eric Decker. Pretty sick. Nice card there of Decker. Uh, ball jersey of Monte Ball for the Vikings to 49. Big old Sharif Floyd auto. Nice three color to 25 of Cameron Newton. A uh, Kimbrell Tompkins to 99 auto. Sweet one there. Uh, RPA to 99 of Marquis Goodwin. That's a filthy old four color right there. And last but not least, old school jersey with dirt uh, to 25, Mr. Bo Jackson. What up? On card auto for all you critics, there are on card autos. Uh, we will move on to the next one. Uh, but real Dutch Clark legend. I'm sorry for the long video, guys. Russell Wilson base. Here's a Russell Wilson jersey, Pro Bowl jersey, jumbo colossal of Brian Hartline. Very sick. Uh, part of the logo. And then a two-color patch of Brent Selleck to 20. Brent Selleck, I'm sorry, Zach Ertz to 25. But as you can see, they're part of the logo. Uh, jersey ball, jersey to 99. Vance McDonald, NFL gear. Auto to 99 of Matt Sims. This is a real. This is like one of my favorite looking cards so far out of the year. But uh, 25 of 25, like a little sunset backdrop. Two-color patch auto of Mike Singletary. 
And we got an RPA three color uh, to 99 of Justin Hunter. We had a dual auto, four of five. Probably not the most valuable card, but a very cool card. Father son combination. Uh, Phil Sims and Matt Sims, numbered four of five. So, sweet card there. I'll uh, move on to the last box. Uh, Justin Blackman to 99. Earl Campbell, legend, to 50. A Jersey, Jersey to 99, NFL gear of Gino. Jumbo Jersey to 49 of Russell Wilson. Jersey Ball Jersey to 99, Quinton Patton. A Jersey to 49, one of 49 of Adrian Peterson. A auto to 99 for the Texans, Sam Montgomery. A nice three color jumbo patch auto to 10 of Michael Floyd. For the cards, a quad jersey NFL gear to 25 auto of Deion Jordan. We did hit a book, a booklet, uh, kind of similar to last year, but pretty filthy. On card auto, big old jumbo patch to 49 of Kenny Stills. Like that guy. And then last but not least, I would say probably the two sweetest cards. Don't know if it's value. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. But uh, the two sweetest cards is this one. These are called Hats Off. On card autos. This one's numbered to six of Mr. DeAndre Hopkins. Just filthy, filthy card. Sweet. And then last but not least, a simple jumbo patch. Got the room going crazy. For the Chiefs, number to six, Joe Montana. These are like, uh, what did uh, Panini say? Kind of like a puzzle piece. So it's the, the logo patch, and then they break it up into six. So good luck collecting all of those, right? Four of six on the Joe Montana. So that's a recap, guys, of the National Treasures, which is more or less a preview for next Wednesday. Wednesday, I will be live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time with our first cases of 2013 National Treasures football. I anticipate doing probably... Four cases on Wednesday night. That's my anticipation. We will then go live again on Friday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So in case you cannot make it Wednesday night for the draft, as these are all draft breaks, if you cannot make it for the draft Wednesday night, you have an opportunity to sign up for Friday night. All the breaks are listed in my eCreator. Currently, I have posted the first two cases for Wednesday night, case one and case two. I have also posted the first case for Friday night. You can grab as many spots as you want in these breaks. It is not limited like we did with uh, Monday night's preview or Tuesday night's preview, I should say, of National Treasures. It is not limited, so grab as many spots as you want. It is 144, and you get two teams in a draft break with teams out. So um, it'll be a draft break. You're guaranteed a, uh, a decent team. Uh, to be honest, I question whether any team should be removed from this. A uh, team that didn't get drafted in Tuesday night's draft was the Ravens. I can tell you right now there's a lot of Ravens stuff in this, and that was one of the out teams. So um, it should be a very good draft. Everybody should have some great teams, and historically, Week one, this room has pulled something big every week. So I am very much looking forward to National Treasures. I hope everybody else has the same excitement. I can tell you there is definitely more vet and Hall of Fame presence in this particular year's with the weaker rookie class. I use the word weak, but I was talking to uh, CJ17, and it's it's not really a fair statement because there are some people that have – great potential and prove themselves last year um, you know they may not be quarterbacks however there's a lot of guys that did big things last year and I hope they'll continue those into next year so I'm excited for this stuff guys I am done rambling I have got sorting galore because I want to get this national treasure stuff out ASAP um, so I will get this stuff bundled up 
appreciate everybody again that joined the breaks on Monday and Wednesday or Monday and Tuesday. Um, that is it. The e crater is officially open. www.bbexpress2.ecrater.com. You can grab your draft spots as soon as case one and two on Wednesday fill up and case one on Friday fill up. More will be posted, but my intentions are to do probably four and four. Four on Wednesday, four on Friday. So, again, no limit on spots like I did on Tuesday night. You can grab as many as you want. Uh, it'll be fun. We'll have the stack of eight of them right there. We'll number the cases. Whoever ends up with the first pick gets to pick which case. That's always uh, nerve-wracking if you're in that position to pick which case when you have the number one pick. But... Um, that is it. Appreciate it, guys. We'll see you all starting tomorrow night for a couple breaks. Uh, contenders football, some Bowman, uh, some kind of a Bowman break, and uh, uh, back again Wednesday and Friday next week. So thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you guys all tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Peace.